Hi, my name is Gareth, and today we're going to be installing the Masterplug S7 charger. This is a Type 2 socketed outlet charger, and we've also got a tethered T7 available as well. Some of the key features and benefits of this range is the fact that it's got pen fault built into these chargers as standard. That means you've got no earth rods to go into the ground and it's not a messy installation. The other safety features built into these is it's got built in RCD protection so you don't have to put these upstream. That makes your install work much, much easier. The benefits of these products aren't just in the physical, they're also in the commissioning and configuring of all these chargers. We have a dedicated Bluetooth app making your lives much easier to do this. And not only that, the end user app, which is Monta, gives them access to not only their home charger, but thousands of public access chargers across the entire country. Inside the box, you'll see the quick start guide. This has all your QR codes you'll need, from the installer app to the mobile friendly user manual as well. You'll see the charger itself, which situated just behind the charger has these two accessory bags, which will give you all the fixtures and fixings you need to make sure you have a successful install. Once the cable's in place, we're gonna take the fixings template against the wall and mark our holes out to make sure we have decent, suitable fixings for this charger to fasten to. The next thing we're gonna do is drill the back box to suit the fixings, and then once we do that, we're gonna drill the cable entry. On these chargers, you've got three options. You've got one on the right-hand side here, you've got one on the left that we're gonna be using to utilize the cord grip, and then you've also got one on the rear that you can use to hide your cables completely. Once you have all your holes drilled, you're gonna either use the blind grommet or the stuffing gland that's provided in the accessory pack to get your installation cables into the back box. You'll then take the sealing washers from the accessory pack and use them with suitable fixings to mount the back plate to your wall. With the back box installed on the wall, the next job to do is to get the installation cable in and make sure it's nice and secure using the cable cord grip. Once we have this installation cable in place, we then have to successfully strip this and use the grey quick release connector block to terminate our cables into. With the cables terminated into the quick release block, we can then simply push that straight into the front of the charger and use a ratchet clamp to hold it in place. So we can then put the front of the charger on and use the side fixing screws to hold it in place and we are ready to power this unit up. Before you power anything up, it is essential that you carry out all electrical safety testing. Once you do this and power the unit up, you'll be met with the yellow light. This just means the charger is offline and ready to configure and commission. These chargers use a dimmable RGB indicator light. That means when it's yellow, it just means it's offline. When it's solid blue, that means it's online and ready for use. When it's flashing blue, that means it's detected the vehicle plugged in. Green is for charging and red is for fault. So now that the charger's successfully configured and online, the next thing we're gonna do is take the quick start guide on the reverse page and get the customer set up on Monta. So there we have it, a complete installation of the Masterplug S7 charger. This one's the socketed one, but there's also the tethered five meter version available as well. The customer's all set up on Monta and happily charging away. So the only thing left for us to do is to pack up and head off home. 